Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am absolutely blown away today. I received a gift from Carl at Toys of Arkham. That's Toys of Arkham on Instagram. And I I can't believe it, man. This is uh, a replica Batman Begins cow. And Batman Begins is like my favorite film of all time. And I know that there's been cows out there and I kind of found it all a bit daunting. You know, when you just don't know about something, you think, oh man, maybe one day I'll get one. Do I go for one of the kind of soft, like, mask ones? Or do I go for, like, the solid one that you definitely could not wear? Like, a, more like a statue, but it's a, a life-size cow statue. But this is actually a mask, a thick rubber, whatever kind of material it is. But it is, um, you know, it's like a, you can move it. You could wear it. You know, when I posted this on Instagram, people were like, oh, you got to try it on. I was like, nah. <laughs> I tried get, putting it on my head just a little bit, and it was really, really difficult um carla toys of arkham did say if you do want to put it on you're going to need to kind of put talcum powder on the inside of it because it's really um not sticky but you can just you can tell when you're holding it it'd be very very difficult to put this on if this is anything like what christian bale had to put on his head in the movie then i understand why he kind of wanted it to change for the next two films but i just can't say thank you enough to toys of arkham man this is absolutely this is amazing, man. Seriously, this is now one of my prized, prized possessions in the room. And it's interesting because with Michael Myers masks, which is something I collect as well. You've got one up there, uh, one over there on the shelf and one on the life size mannequin over there. But it's kind of funny because you have to it, in order to get this to look right, you can't just put it on something and then just leave it. I've had to um, to get the right thickness and everything to look right. I've got three different pens you know, writing pens, and I've stuck blue tack on the end of each end of the pen, and um, I've got one uh, just, well, I can't remember now, but I've got one sort of near the brow area to, to fill that out, Then we've got another one just sort of around here, kind of filling that out, and then actually, there might be four pens, there's one at the front here, and then there's another pen at the back, so you've got one, two, three, four, four pens inside this, to um, just get the right shape otherwise it's too narrow too long looking and I want the you know the Batman Begins thickness let me just turn this to the side and it's incredible look at that this is my favorite bat suit my favorite cowl from any Batman movie love the thickness of the neck and to have this life size and I think Carl from Toys of Arkham actually gave me, you know, he didn't go out and buy me this. I think this is from his collection and he thought, you know what, I'm going to send it along to Dean for Christmas. <laughs> I just can't believe it, man. Thank you so much. Honestly, it's gone to one hell of a home. I will treasure this every day that I'm alive. I will always walk in this room and see this and just light up inside because I'm just trying to get it to go back to normal. This is um, it's truly, truly awesome. Let me just come back around here i was just doing some hoovering trying to tidy up for the live stream me and nick are going to do on christmas day if you saw on instagram uh, 8 p.m uk time december 25th uh, me and nick will be doing a, a live stream just checking in with you guys seeing how you're doing you can ask some questions we can have some fun but there it is let me just turn that off i love how matte black it is so let me just turn the lights up. Uh, sweet. Oh, that light's blocking the view, but you can see. Let me get that out of the way. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Now, I'd never wear it, you know, not something like this, because... With the Batman Begins cowl, in order to wear it, you've got to first paint around your eyes black and then shave because I've got a goatee and I ain't shaving that off. <laughs> so that would look really weird. Um, so I won't be wearing it. This is purely going to be just part of my uh, display here. I thought it would go nicely underneath the Batman Begins poster. Did he? But yeah, it looks incredible from the front, man. It really does have a hell of a presence to it. It's really, really cool. So I hope you guys are having an awesome December. I've had an incredible December so far, and it is in part mostly down to all you guys out there. Doing some incredible things. 
uh, happened to me over the past you know month or so you guys have just been incredible it's been great doing the live streams on sunday oh i didn't do a live stream uh yesterday that was uh sunday was yesterday i didn't do one because i figured if me and nick were doing one on christmas day which is literally like i don't know two days away or something might as well just wait till then so be good to check in with you guys then all the regular people who always tune in you know awesome awesome people so there yeah, you've got the uh the hot toys one the enter bay one the beast and then the life-size cow right here friggin sweet uh the ears are actually filled with something so they don't move they're um you know they they do move a bit but they're solid they're not like the rest of this which is like obviously like it's not thin it's really thick but it does you know you can sort of move it it's a mask but it's very thick very tough and i mean in the film when you see them testing it when alfred breaks it and says the next 10,000 will be up to specification or whatever um but in the special features you can see sometimes when christian bay was putting this on his head and when he turns his head to move uh, look left and right which he could do even though everyone says oh the reason he changed his cow in the second two films was so he could look left and right but he could look left and right in this one in batman begins the reason he changed it was because of the uh, migraines you get migraines when you wear something like this all day which is what he was doing he was wearing it for the whole day and just decided to just you know put up with the headaches and he said it made him more uh, intense so whatever but yeah man it's just awesome absolutely awesome need to move that poster that needs to go somewhere i hate having unframed posters I'm not sure whether to leave that pearl jam one there that's from the first gig i ever went to back in 1996 at wembley arena that was one hell of a experience but i just don't think that poster belongs there and there's no room for it over there anymore so i'll have to figure that one out but yeah i need to get that framed and move it because i don't like it being there it just kind of throws everything off but yeah man i love it i love it man it just looks so cool especially from this low angle you really get the thickness of the neck man that is beastly so Carl, if you're watching, man, thank you so much, dude. Honestly, God bless you. This is an amazing gift. One of the, oh, I was going to say one of the best gifts. I said that when uh, Paolo sent the turtles. And that was a hell of a thing, man. Here's the turtles right here. You can't really see their faces because of the shadow from the shelf. I need to find somewhere really good to put them. But just for now, they're going to be here. Uh, I did have them over there, but it just didn't seem right. And I know Michael Myers is not supposed to have sunglasses hanging from his coveralls, but... That's just an easy place for me to put them. <laughs> so, oh man. So yeah, there's the turtles. And uh, yeah, man, some amazing gifts. God bless all you guys. Thank you so much. Just an awesome, awesome community to be a part of. And yeah, just um, thinking of all the other little cool things I got this year. That is my yeah. <laughs> little Myers doll. <laughs> and oh, Nick's. Austin Powers down there chilling. Yeah, man. I'm sure there's so much more stuff that I'm forgetting to mention. Obviously, Irene and Mark with the pumpkin head. That was this year. Um, but yeah, I'm terrible at remembering everything. So I'll just uh, leave it at that for now. But you guys, honestly, all of you guys out there, thank you so much for such a wonderful year on YouTube. It's been great. The whole Copa thing, Copa, Copa, whatever, was a bit scary for a while. But it looks like we'll be all right. You know, I mean... You know, channels like mine are clearly not aimed at kids, so you should be okay. And plus the little uh, 13 plus thing at the beginning of every video now should help a little bit as well. But yeah, got 10 minute limit filming time here, guys. So yeah, make sure you tune in if you can. I know obviously Christmas Day you'll be busy with your families or maybe not. But whatever you're doing on Christmas Day, uh, if you're you know if you're around, you can tune in. Uh, that's 8 p.m. UK time on this YouTube channel. Me and Nick will be just... Uh, hanging out with you guys and having a chat thank you so much carl this is amazing check out toys of arkham on instagram Some awesome photography and hot toys figures and all kinds of other stuff thanks so much man i love this this is like just an amazing addition to the batman uh, batman begins collection might rearrange this whole section just to be batman begins but thanks carl god bless you man hope you have a great christmas thanks guys i'll see you soon take it easy Bye bye